2025 Ducati Multistrada V4S Review. Advanced Technology Meets Adventure Touring. Ducati's Multistrada V4 is the brand's best-selling adventure bike, and it's easy to see why. It's practical, spacious, luxuriously crafted, and packed with technology and high-end chassis components. Launched in 2021, it replaced the 1260 V-Twin, and the 2025 model brings its first significant update. The changes are led by 5 Euro Plus engine tweaks, as seen in many 2025 models, enhancing the Multistrada V4. The V4S tested here at its Italian world debut, and the V4 Pikes Peak, though not affecting the other V4 models. Overall, it's still business as usual for the Multistrada V4S. It remains a high-performance, versatile machine with a race-inspired engine that's as fierce as it sounds. The 2025 updates add safety and user-friendliness, but the riding experience is largely unchanged, so there's no urgent need for current owners to upgrade. It's more stable than ever, though not as sharp in handling as some competitors, but the new lowering device will benefit many riders. The rear cylinder deactivation system is subtle, and the improved fuel economy will be handy for long trips. While the seat may become uncomfortable after a few hours, and it can suffer from wind buffeting on motorways plus a stretch to the handlebars and a steep price tag, the Multistrada is beautifully built, still feels special, and excels as a touring bike. In the V4S model, with its semi-active Marzaki suspension, the forks now feature an internal sensor to measure stroke travel. When the front wheel encounters a bump, the front suspension communicates with the rear to adjust the damping accordingly. This results in a smoother ride on rough roads and better control during aggressive riding. A detailed look at the 2025 Ducati Multistrada V4S semi-active suspension. The tall Multistrada still feels slightly unwieldy at first, and not as sharp in handling as BMW's S1000XR or even the R1300GS. However, once you adjust to its weight, it handles with precision and offers excellent grip. Ducati has also raised the swing arm pivot by a millimeter to reduce squat during acceleration, and the automatic rear preload now self-levels to accommodate the extra weight of a passenger or luggage. In 2022, Ducati introduced a basic lowering device for the Multistrada V4 that reduced rear preload at the press of a button when stationary. For 2025, the most notable upgrade is a new shock that offers more preload, providing a greater drop from 15 to 30 millimeters, depending on the bike's load. This system automatically lowers the bike when traveling under 6 miles per hour allowing taller riders to get their feet flat on the ground with bent knees, making it easier to handle the 232 kilograms machine, plus fuel for those with shorter legs. The suspension raises again after surpassing 30 miles per hour, and the lowering feature can be deactivated if desired. A new ABS mode links the front and rear brakes, which Ducati claims is beneficial in urban riding and when carrying a passenger. When the rear brake is applied, the front brake automatically engages as well, with feedback felt through the lever. While effective, it can feel overly aggressive when dragging the rear brake into corners, which may be unsettling. There are also options for front-to-rear ABS or front-only ABS for off-road use. Despite receiving 5 Euro Plus certification, the V4 Gran Turismo engine's output remains almost unchanged. It still produces a claimed 167 brake horsepower, just one brake horsepower less than before, and its torque figure remains at 92 lb feet, although both peak 250 RPM higher. Unsurprisingly, the new Ducati performs much like its predecessor. It can be mild-mannered for cruising or a rapid, wheelie-toting, MotoGP-sounding hooligan when you're feeling spicy. There's a fruitier-sounding new exhaust and following in the footsteps of the Diavel V4 and V4 Rally. The Multis rear cylinders now deactivate on the move, as well as at a standstill. For a Big Bang V4 that acts like a twin, it's tricky to tell when it's running on two, but there's a useful 6% MPG improvement, claimed 43 miles per gallon. MCN's online owner's reviews give a 4.1-5 star satisfaction rating. Early machines had their fair share of teething problems, and engines on a handful of bikes even had to be replaced. But Ducati quickly addressed the issues, and now the Multistrada V4 
or has proved to be reliable and robust. Now that the Multistrada has a 19 inches front wheel instead of a 17 inches, it has a whole new set of riders. It used to just be tall rounders like the BMW S 1000XR, Kawasaki Versus 1100, KTM 1290 Super Duke GT, and Suzuki GSX S 1000GX. But now it straddles the adventure bike world too. With its light off-road ability, the Ducati rubs shoulders with the KTM 1290 Super Adventure S, Triumph Tiger 1200 GT, Suzuki V-Strom 1050, Honda Africa Twin Adventure Sports, BMW R1300 GS, and Harley-Davidson Pan America 1250. With so many Multistrada V4 versions, packs, and accessories available, it's tricky to compare prices like for like. But it's no surprise it sits at the pricier end of the market, but you get what you pay for and none of its competition are as luxurious. When it comes to this Multistrada V4S model, Ducati have thrown just about every bell and whistle at it in standard trim. It comes with every conceivable rider aid, a color TFT dash, top-class chassis components, and of course a gem of a V4 engine. Debuted on the new Ducati Panigale V4, the Multistrada runs a Ducati vehicle debuted on the new Ducati Panigale V4, the Multistrada runs a Ducati vehicle observation, DVO system. Using the bike sensors, it works out the forces acting on the bike from every direction. For example, it will change the wheelie control settings or the amount of front-to-back link braking, depending on whether you're riding solo, two-up, or with luggage. It also refines all the rider aids, from traction control to the electronic suspension, mellifluous quickshifter, and everything in between. There's also new enduro and wet riding modes and a collision warning that flashes up on the dash. The old Multi had an intrusive amount of engine braking, which we criticized it for, but a now a three-way adjustable engine brake control solves the problem. There's little change to the Multistrada's looks, other than a slightly reprofiled beak and new colors. The LED headlight internals are revised to give a better spread of illumination, and there's a now coming home function that keeps the lights on for an adjustable period after you've switched off. The TFT dash has detailed changes to the menus too, there are a plethora of accessories and packs available for the whole range. The 2025 Ducati Multistrada V4S continues to impress with its blend of power and versatility. Equipped with the 1,158 cubic centimeters V4 Gran Turismo engine, it delivers 167 brake horsepower and 92 LB FT of torque, offering strong acceleration and plenty of grunt across the rev range. While the new 5 Euro Plus compliance has slightly adjusted peak outputs, with horsepower down by just one brake horsepower and torque figures unchanged, the overall performance remains thrilling. The engine is smooth and responsive, making it equally capable on twisty mountain roads or long highway stretches. The advanced electronics, including cornering ABS and traction control, enhance safety and control, making the Multistrada V4S a confident performer in all conditions. Handling-wise, the Multistrada V4S may not be as razor-sharp as some of its rivals, like the BMW S1000XR, but it more than makes up for it with stability and grip. Ducati's semi-active suspension system, featuring Marzaki forks with stroke sensors and a new lowering. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.